Hey Rose, welcome back to EO. This is a show where we provide our thoughts and opinions that no one asked for on trailers that again, no one asked for. This, this is Entertainment, Entertainment Overload. Overload. Welcome back, Royals. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Bo Traxler. And I'm Mioretta. And today we are actually going to be looking at a horror film that's coming out called The Heretic. So let's take a look at that now. Ah. Are you <laughs> interested in learning more about the Church of Jesus Christ? Come on in. We can't come inside unless another woman is present. My wife is home. Does that come? Great. You like pie? Yeah. My wife has pie in the oven. I, I could tell that you are a very spiritually <laughs> curious person. I think it is good to be religious. To find your faith in a doctrine you actually believe. <laughs> well, our work here is done. <laughs> no, I, I will go and check on the pie. So sleep, silence, I'm very excited. It's time for spooky season, and that means horror movies. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. At the time of filming this, uh, it is coming out on November 8th. I'm not quite sure when this episode will be out, but it should be around that time. Just know we are in the midst of spooky season at the time of recording <laughs> this, and I am actually so excited. Um, we actually don't need a spoiler alert warning for this, which is there's a first time for everything. But also, this is why you don't let me actually have free reign over my time, because I have three pages wow. worth of notes on this. No, no, because this is, I, I just have this. I have scribbles on a single page. Um, <laughs> so this one, actually, for not being so much of a horror movie fanatic, this is actually one that I am super excited for. The production company is A24, and we all know that they come out with the most amazing uh, horror movies especially psychological horror oh, yeah. um, especially to deal with things like religion and the heretic is obviously going to be something to do with a religion and they do a really good job of taking shots that shouldn't be creepy and making them mortifying yeah um right at the end of that clip that we just showed you uh it kind of pans down to a blueberry pie scented candle oh. and that shouldn't be terrifying but the context is amazing and that's wonderful filmmaking right there actually fun fact about this movie um some theaters will be doing uh smell -a vision so it will actually oh. you can smell everything that's going on in the movie it's a fully immersive experience so you can L legit just smell like the blueberry pie in the theaters which is i would be terrified strange because uh <laughs> it, like i'm gonna explain this to you if you didn't see it uh he says he opens the door and he says well my wife is making pie and now we're seeing a blueberry pie scented candle and that is horrifying you also see a nice little duality between the two main characters there's one that's kind of more bubbly more uh you know, girly pop, everything. <laughs> and then you also have the other one that seems like she's actually been through life. She is more paranoid. She's the one who first figures this out. Yeah. And I honestly, A24 really likes establishing shots. And I also really like the the two shots that they get with these main characters, just showing off like the difference between them. Um, I, I, I love this. And also, why are the stairs <laughs> built like that? Like the stairs that go like one side and then another side? You no, know, I actually have some notes about that, <laughs> but I think we should take a look at the next portion of our trailer real quick before we get into that. Hell yeah. We just need to go home. I won't keep you if you wish to leave. But I want you to choose which door to go through based on your faith. What does this have to do with us leaving? Everything. I think that we're 
being studied. It will make your hearts beat faster. It may even make you want to die. Do not be afraid. You will. All right. Going back to the very last thing we said about the stairs. Obviously, from this clip, you can now get a lot more context as to why it's strange like that because they're playing on the idea that he is making a maze, a labyrinth going on, mm -hmm. and he's playing a lot of puzzle games with them, which creates a very interesting villain. Yes. I feel like, once again, we're going really heavily into the psychological horror. It is in a bunch of jump, uh, cheap jump scares, right? Mm -hmm. You have a lot more going on. Um, actually, as I was researching this movie and a lot of things around it, the writers and creators Scott Beck and Brian Woods, uh, they write a lot of movies together. They did A Quiet Place, they did Haunt, and they did 65, which is that one Adam Driver movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it, but I've heard mixed reviews. Yeah, Go ahead and check that out for yourself. But people have described this movie as an anti-Quiet Place because that movie is based solely off of environment and tension. You cannot speak. This movie is very heavily based in dialogue. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be very philosophical as well. I think it does a really good job of showcasing like the actual fear that goes along with specifically religion because our two main characters are people who work for the church. They're, they're sisters, uh, like within the church, not actually sisters, uh, but they're, a24 in general does an amazing job of showcasing that psychological horror. They did Hereditary and that of course has beautiful psychological horror within it. Um, I would totally recommend it. Uh, but also like the audio effects within this trailer alone, especially with the humming now taking oh, yeah. over your hearing with um, like blacking out and going to the do not be afraid. Uh, it, he's very much like paralleling God and that's a really interesting like sentiment like he's tricking and he's testing his creations almost and it's a really interesting thing to see I also really like the doors one being labeled uh, disbelief and the other being labeled belief and I like the colors with it I like the symbolism beautiful um, I, and also the old man is played by Hugh Grant, who does a really good job of playing like <laughs> those, you feel like you shouldn't trust them, but also they seem like a nice old man and then they'll like backstab you. The only, the only reason I'm saying this is because I looked him up cause I was like, you look familiar. And I remembered he was in Paddington. You had to look him up. <laughs> I had to look him up. I can't remember actors like no, faces. No, because whenever I see Hugh Grant, I immediately think of his character, Philip in Knives Out Glass Onion, who I is- I haven't seen it. <gasps> okay. Well, he has like a very small role. However, I love that character so much. And <laughs> I also, before we, before we do our shout out, I want to talk about the statue and his like contraption to yes, pull back yes. the hood because to me it almost seems like a weeping angel but also at the same time it just feels like judgment. Judgment is about to come down on these girls and I'm really interested to see which one of them breaks first and I have more to say on that later <laughs> but I think this is going to be something really interesting but in the meantime you want to do your shout out? Guys, in honor of spooky season, my shout out is actually an animated movie. It's technically two parts, um, but it is Batman The Long Halloween. I love that movie so much. I think we should take a look at that right now. I can't really be a lawyer and a criminal, can I? I want to win, but do I want to win like this? I'm of two minds here. So it's a coin flip. Johnny Vitti was murdered tonight. Falcone crime family has to be taken down. There's only room for one homicidal maniac in this town. Why are you running? You could use a little fun. Hit the 
you didn't hurt people! You thought wrong. You still haven't figured out who killed Johnny Vitti? A killer who only works on holidays. There's lots of crazy out there. Once I take him out, things are gonna be different. We can start a family. The city has fallen, Alfred. And we must endeavor to lift it up again. Who is Holiday? And who's next? I love Batman. Oh I love my, Batman. I think everyone in this studio at the moment as we are filming loves Batman. I don't know anybody who doesn't love Batman. Um, which, hey, you know, maybe if there's like a Spider-Man versus Batman debate, you can get torn there. But hey, we're not talking about that here. Right now we are focusing on Batman. Jensen Ackles voices Bruce Wayne. We have... Uh, Jack Quaid, David Desmalchin, we have a great cast. Troy Baker does the Joker. Um, we look at all these different classic Batman villains, and it is part one and part two. Go check out both parts. It is a beautiful animated little franchise right there. Is it a Halloween one specifically? So, not specifically. It's called The Long Halloween. However, this killer kills... Um, a different one every holiday. It goes through all the holidays, but of course it's just the long Halloween because that's when it starts. Okay. Yeah. It has Scarecrow in it, right? Yes, it does. Well then great, then I'll <laughs> for sure watch it. But now I think if we're done yapping about that, then we should go back to the heretic. I'm in the mood for that. There's so much to say about this wonderful movie. Um, we've already said a lot, but I just want to really like emphasize how this is a psychological horror movie. Don't go in expecting a lot of uh, jump scares. Well, I'm, I'm sure right. it's going to be terrifying, but yeah. movies like this, also, you've been saying A24 this whole time. It's A24. Listen, man. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to be so real. The <laughs> first movie that I watched from A24 or A24 was literally Talk to Me. And that's really? recent. I did not. I, I'm a fraud. I did not get into horror films until very recently. So um, I'm kind of just here. <laughs> I'm just excited for this welcome, movie. Welcome, welcome. And also... Um, I do want to say, because uh, actually Bo, Bo over here, uh, introduced me to a short horror film called Portrait of God, and it reminds me a lot of that. I don't know if you drew a connection between that, but I sure did. I mean, this movie, looking at the trailer alone, has so many ties to a bunch of projects like yes. that. Um, Hereditary, for those of you who haven't seen it, it does play into religious themes, but not as heavily mm -hmm. as Heretic is looking like it's going to go into. Um, I would just like to say, for those of you watching, um, some people kind of don't like religious horror for the fact that it m pokes fun at religion. Um, I don't think this is the case. These girls have to rely on their faith to get through this situation, and I think it's just highlighting the complexities of religion and faith and all that. And so it isn't like, oh, Christianity bad. It's not that. Which I actually, I am interested to see because I want to know, is this going to be a, in order to survive this, you have to let go of that faith that you hold so dearly? Or is this going to be the only thing that's gonna get you out of here alive is to hold on to and that faith? And I think faith. that is exactly what the killer is trying to make a point of. Yes, I think so Because that's well. that belief versus disbelief thing. And also you have the two girls. One seems like she's never seen a bad thing in her entire life. The other one is like, no, I know the horrors of man. And I honestly think that the one that is like, I know the horrors of man is going to make it out with faith intact versus the girl who seems like she's never seen anything bad in her life. Yeah. She's going to, she, we already see her screaming, running through this maze, being like, help me, help me, please. And I think 
that that's going to make for a really interesting dynamic between these two because will they be picking a different door at the end of this? Yeah, it, it's definitely playing on that contrast between them, between good and evil. However, it's it's not ever that obvious of a division, you know? Like, the good and evil isn't going to be simply, this guy's evil, these girls are good. It's going to get muddy. Oh, and for sure. And that's why I love psychological horror. That's why I love movies like these, because it will really play into that stuff. But... Um, also, A24 really likes doing that, the little models, the little model houses and stuff like that. Hey, Hereditary! Always <laughs> does it. And I, I love it. It brings so much into it, but we see literally him carving out himself, mm. placing it in. And then you see, I don't know if I'm reading into this too much, but you see both doors open and both girls at the bottom, which makes me wonder... Did at the time of that, did they choose separate doors or are both of them? Is it literally just both of these lead you to the exact same room? I just want to see which one you choose. And I think that it's really interesting that he says at some point he says, uh, do not be afraid or be not afraid, which is obviously a call to yeah. God, to the angels. And I think it's really interesting and it kind of just the reason I said it reminds me of Portrait of God is because he's like you may see a miracle and that's like that whole uh God reveals themselves to some but not to all yeah um I think just for our final thoughts here um this reminds me of Saw it's very <laughs> Saw-like in the puzzles and everything. Of course, it doesn't look nearly as gory, so that's a good thing for those of you who hate all the blood and everything. Mm -hmm. um, any last notes before yeah, we wrap up? Yeah, um, A24 uses these like wooden blocks and wooden sound effects to make their titles and everything, mm -hmm. and I know every single time that they do something like that, it means something, and so... I'm really interested what exactly the wood is going to play into it because it's like a building block yeah. and faith is building blocks for a lot of people's lives. Yeah. So I'm really interested to see what will happen with that. But I think it's time to wrap up. I think so too. Uh, we also, just FYI, uh, it is coming out November 8th. So mark your calendars because I think this is something that we should all be looking into our theaters to see. So I... I'm actually really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. So I think with that, thank you so much to our amazing viewers. I hope this has been as spooky to watch as it was to make. I'm Mia Retta. And I'm Bo Traxler. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe so you do not miss out on another episode of Entertainment. Hope to see you again. This, this has been Entertainment, Entertainment Overload. Overload.